Hello there, child of God. Well, we have come to the end of September, our month of development. This is the last week in the month of September. And as we close out this month, I thought that we close out with this scripture in Colossians chapter 1 verse 10 that says that you may walk worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing him and being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. So we are being encouraged this week to walk worthy of the Lord. We walk worthy of him. You see, your calling is, is, is a noble calling. The fact that you are a Christian, the fact that you are called by the name of God and you are in his ki kingdom is a noble calling. And we are not to lose sight of that. We are not to allow, part of our growth and development is being aware, is living in the, in the awareness, the consciousness of the fact that we live in a supreme kingdom. We belong, we belong to a supreme kingdom that is supreme to everything else that we that 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 exists. Hallelujah. So walk worthy of it. Be mindful of who you are. Do not bring disrepute to the great name of, of the kingdom that you represent. You represent the kingdom of God, okay? So walk worthy of the Lord. Make a conscious decision that whatever decision you need to make, you have to understand your identity. You have to remember who you are and you have to remember that you cannot do some things that other people are doing and perhaps getting away with. You have been set apart. You have been consecrated. You are, you are different. Hallelujah. And you, you make your decisions based on what, what pleases the Lord, because the next, the next um, instruction says fully pleasing him. You are fully you are making a decision to fully please him sometimes pleasing the lord may not be satisfying to the flesh may not be convenient to the flesh may be complete opposite of what you would have preferred to do in the circumstance in the moment but you are you are being reminded today that you are to fully please the lord at work fully please the lord make a decision to, that is always fully pleasing god and also you are called to be fruitful in every good work to fruit is is um, is uh, symbolic for evidence there has to be an evidence okay there has to be an evidence so it's an evidence of your good work being fruitful in every good work god has called you onto good works and your good work is manifested again in everything you do at home at work in your community everywhere you go you are supposed to, to bear fruit that is that is synonymous to to the kingdom that you represent okay you are supposed to bear fruit your behavior your your response to things your reactions to things should be that which will be synonymous to being called a child of god so i just want to i want to encourage you today that you remember that your development it's not a one-time achievement it's not nobody has achieved everything um, that they're, they're fully developed and i'm not talking about age i'm talking about in character and that is why we are called to work worthy of the lord and actually the last part of that scripture says that and growing or increasing in the knowledge of god you are supposed to be increasing or going or growing in the knowledge of God so it's a lifelong intentional pursuit you have to pursue God intentionally every day of your life it's a it, Apostle Paul you know even after every a, a achievement that he had everything that he had accomplished as he was nearing um, the end of his life he, he said that that I may know God he still wanted to know God he said that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering he still had an appetite to know god more he still had an appetite to to pursue god more to want to know him more because here is the thing the closer you get to god the more you want to know him because the more he reveals sides of himself to you in different situations I, I i say he's like a diamond you know if you hold a diamond in your hand diamond attract it does not matter which 
which angle you turn the diamond it attracts light and it reflects light at the same time and that is when you know god that is what happens it it's it's a non-stop thing okay so he wants you to know him continually he wants him to grow he wants you to grow in his knowledge to increase in the knowledge of god and and this is part of your development this is part of your self-development you have to develop in the knowledge of god and seek to please him in everything that you do hallelujah and you are called to fruitfulness i don't want you to forget that you are called to fruitfulness god wants you to be fruitful that your business will be fruitful that your marriage will be fruitful that the work of your hands will be fruitful in the name of jesus christ but you need to apply yourself to this and let me just let me just say this you know caveat what i'm saying with this that it doesn't mean that just because you are pursuing god just because you are, you 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 have an appetite to please him in everything that you do it doesn't mean that you will not be faced with challenges every now and again it doesn't mean that everything will go on a on a on a on a, a smooth platter but here is the thing whenever challenges come you are equipped with the wisdom you are equipped with the grace you are equipped with the knowledge okay to face the challenge and to prevail over the challenge and you know that god is on your side and you know that where uh, you don't have the natural means to 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 address whatever it is that you are going through you know that there is a supernatural power that is backing you up because you are in god's camp you are in god's kingdom amen so he will back you up spiritually supernaturally he will enable you he will assist you he will give you wisdom that is why the bible says in the book of james chapter one that he that he who lacks wisdom let him ask god who gives liberally without finding fault you know he will give you the wisdom to deal with each situation but your your word for today and your job really your assignment your purpose is to pursue god that you walk worthy of him that you seek to fully please him not half-heartedly fully completely entirely totally please him in every good work being fruitful and increase in the knowledge of God. Child of God, find a way to feed your knowledge of God. Read your Bible, of course, by by any means, by all means, read your Bible. But also, there are there are books that could help you, that could, that could grow you. Attend lectures, attend seminars, do something that will challenge what you thought you knew before. That will that will open you up more and more into wanting to know more about god if, if, if uh, into wanting to know more of him if, if, into wanting to know him more and more and the more you pursue him the more he reveals himself to you and i just pray for you this week in the name of jesus christ that as you as you as you go uh, uh, in your uh, uh, along your business in this week and beyond that the lord will help you as you, as uh, as you seek to know him to walk worthy of him that he will give you an appetite for 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 the knowledge of god that the lord will give you an appetite for him he will give you an appetite for his presence he will give you an appetite for his word he will give you an appetite for his pursuit in the name of jesus christ that the lord will strengthen you that you will be fruitful in every good work that everything you lay your hands upon to do will prosper there will be fruit in the name of jesus fruit that will abide in the name of jesus christ that you will continue to grow in the knowledge of god that he, that that he will he, open your eyes to see wondrous things in his word in the name of jesus the christ hallelujah amen have a glorious week this week and i look forward to seeing you next week shalom shalom